What's up guys? Welcome back. So just a quick little show and tell on uh, my zombie apocalypse rifle slash shit hits the fan rifle slash do it all rifle. Go anywhere to Mars and back <laughs> or hell and back in some cases. But this is my uh, Romanian SAR1 AKM. This was imported back in the late 90s. Um, I don't know the exact dates. But um, I think it was um, imported in the late 90s, early 2000s for a couple years. So there's not a whole lot of these out there. And they're not really that special as far as AKs go. Other than the fact that they were built in a Romanian factory at the Kugir factory. I think that's how you say that. But uh, yeah, this thing is legit, man. This is made back during uh, the days when... Nobody wanted AKs, <laughs> but it turns out those uh, communist AKs were the better AKs. You know, this is not an American-made AK. And uh, so what I did to it is um, I just kind of roughed it up a little bit with a Brillo pad to give it that battlefield pickup kind of look. So you can see all the edges have um, like a worn look to it. It almost looks like Beskar armor that um, a Mandalorian might might have. <laughs> You can see here and here it's worn down the dust covers worn down again it, it reminds me of beskar armor it's actually pretty cool you can see here it's just all worn down the rivets are all worn down pretty nice right let's flip it on this side here it just looks really cool does that make it any more accurate or more powerful or more dangerous no if anything it makes it a worse gun because it has less protective coatings on it so <laughs> um, I don't care though I did it because it just looks cool it's an AK it's not meant to be pretty so I wanted it to look like it was beat up I wanted it to look like a battlefield pickup I wanted it to look like it's been rattling around in the back of a you know Toyota Hilux in Afghanistan for the last 20 years <laughs> and uh, that's what it kind of looks like or it looks like um, a rifle that the Mandalorian might carry an AK made out of Beskar I did the magazine too the magazine had some surface rust already so it just made sense to scrape off the rust and make it look like it matches the AK pretty cool right this looks badass um, I added some upgrades to it too though, so um, I added an ALG AKT trigger right there. You can see ALG right there. That's a Geisley trigger if you don't know. That's what the G stands for in ALG, it's Geisley, and it's phenomenal. The, uh, the take up, the break, the over travel and reset is absolutely phenomenal on these AK triggers, man. Highly recommend buying those if you have an old AK and you want to make it into a modern uh, rifle. Invest in the ALG trigger. I'm telling you, it's absolutely phenomenal. I'll do a shooting video of this thing later. I added probably the best AK pistol grip you can put on an AK. This is a US Palm. So it kind of flares out, kind of like a Kukri machete. So it really sticks in your hand the harder you grip it. And it just looks good too with the stippling. That's the uh, U.S. Palm pistol grip. And then I put an Israeli extended uh, mag release so it's easier to hit with your thumb. This is a uh, Fab Defense made in Israel. It just makes it easier to take the magazine out. I can also hit it with my trigger finger too. I can push down. If I push down with my uh, trigger finger, I can drop the mag. That's nice. And then I also put a Krebs Custom Selector I guess it's not a selector lever, it's a safety lever. So you can take it off safe with your finger just like that. Or you can even put it up on safe, which is kind of nice. So, yeah, and there's a little notch right there too. Here, let me show you. Take this thing out. If you want to lock the bolt to the rear, all you got to do is just capture it in that notch right there. A little notch and now the bolt will actually stay to the rear it doesn't automatically do that on the last shot like an AR-15 but if you're at the range and you need to show open clear and safe 
a lot of ranges require that the bolts stay open or have a flag in there so that's kind of nice but yeah that's uh that's a look at my romanian sar1 ak that's been uh scrubbed down to look like a battlefield pickup oh i got the uh trap door right here with the cleaning kit inside there as well and here's a little bonus bam the bakelite bayonet <laughs> there you go so now i can stay a little bit more dangerous so if you have to stab a zombie in the face stab a zombie in the skull take them out without without using your ammo you can do that so that's pretty nice if you run out of ammo you're still a lethal force to be reckoned with and again this thing's made out of steel and wood so you can still crack skulls with this thing too so i think this is the best survival rifle slash shit has the fan rifle slash zombie apocalypse rifle <laughs> this right here only thing i have to really add now is a sling so i can keep it on my back at all times there you go guys that's a look at my romanian sar1 pretty cool huh Stay safe, guys.